Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and today we are doing update number six for my 2023 project pan. I am doing it in a rolling 10 pan style and I do also have my pan that palette at the end of this video. I do have all the dogs in the room with me today. So of course you guys know, if you've watched a lot of my videos, we have puppy dog noises in the background. So that is just a staple on this channel. And so I do have a very exciting update this month because we have three slash four rollouts. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into my project pan progress. I won't keep you guys in suspense too long and we're going to go ahead and do my empties and my rollouts first. And so I know last update I let you guys know that I did finish the Tarte blush, but technically because I finished it in June, I'm just touching on it really quickly. But again, the Tarte blush in Party isn't empty. Um, I went over my numbers and my usage last update, so I'll link that up in the eye, but our empty packaging was 17.24 grams. If anybody else is trying to pan this blush and wondering about what the empty weight is. So we'll go ahead and get that one out of the way very quickly. But let's go ahead and go on to my next empty. And so that would be my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And we anticipated this being an empty, and I had already rolled in a new primer last update, but I did go ahead and finish this up. It took an additional eight uses to finish this product, and I used up 5.52 grams in those eight uses. So this empty packaging is 16.36 grams. I did have to tape, I cut it open, but I did tape it back together because it was just oozing, like even though I got as much out of it as I could, like it still oozed everywhere. So I did tape the packaging back together so that I could show you guys. I'm gonna grab my panning journal real quick to see how many total uses I had on that because I was curious how that differed from the Jelly Pop Primer, which has more product, but definitely had more uses. So let me grab my panning journal so I can tell you those numbers. So with the Jelly Pop and with the Power Grip, I did use two pumps per application. And let's go ahead and see. The last uh, Jelly Pop Primer that I used up, I did get 65 uses on it. And the Power Grip one, I only got 46. So you're getting about 20 less uses in this product compared to the one whole ounce that is in the Jelly Pop. So again, the Jelly Pop and this gripping one were the same price. They were $10, but you're getting 20 more applications in the Jelly Pop. I know the Jelly Pop is discontinued. Elf keeps teasing that they're gonna come back out with it. Who knows? But ultimately, it'd be great if they released it in the one ounce size, still for the same price of $10, because you do get more usage out of that. But that one was an empty. And then the next thing that I used up was my ColourPop lipstick in Virgo Moon. So I did dig out the rest of this product and I mixed this in with um, one of my Franken blushes. And so this one is completely done. I did not track uses on this because I did reapply throughout the day, but we did have a full, you know, six months of focus on it. And of course I'll pop my comparison pictures up on the screen. And I even wonder, I don't know if you guys would be interested in it about me posting pictures as far as like in order to see products being used up each month, but I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing the full spectrum of the product being used up. But I really loved this product. I loved the formula. Um, I actually have this on my loves list for ColourPop and I would consider repurchasing this. I do really miss this lipstick now that it's gone, but it was super fun being able to see me use up this product. I forgot to tell you guys in case anybody <laughs> is curious that this empty component, and again, I dug everything out of the bottom of it. I wish I would have weighed it when the product was even with the plastic, but I was just too excited about, you know, using this up that I dug everything out. But the empty packaging on this is 27.87 grams. So the next item that I finally used up is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. 
So this is the one that's in the pot. Bobby Brown did recently come out with the one that's in the stick, and that's the one that I currently have in my collection. But I did go ahead and use this up. It got to the point where I had melted it back down and kind of filled the pan in again, and I hit a really big pan again. It was really difficult getting my finger around there to get enough product on it. Um, I did start using my sponge in here to pick up product, and I think that's why it went a little bit faster because I think my sponge was picking up a little bit more product. And so the finishing weight on this is 13 grams even. I did use it 22 times this month for a uses of 0 0.49 grams. So again, that is about double the amount of grams that I've been consistently using. I don't know if that's some loss from, you know, melting it back down and kind of repressing it, or again, because I was using my sponge in there, I think a lot of the product got absorbed by my sponge, but overall it was just really difficult to get into the corners of this tiny pan with my fingers to pick up product. So overall, I'm glad that this is gone and I can use the stick and it'll be a lot easier for me to get use of all the product in the stick. Those were my empties and I am so, so excited to have those product rolled out of my collection. And that means that we do have two roll-ins at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and look at the items that I made progress on and I do go in the same order that they're on my spreadsheet. So we always start with my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I am just steadily increasing the size of that pan at the bottom. Again, I am consistently using my finger to rub product off the side, and I use this as my eye primer every single day. I see a light at the end of the tunnel with this, but again, there's just so much product built up on the walls that it's, I mean, this is just a long haul product. If anybody has panned one of these in the past, I'm sure you guys know, I think this will take me about two years to get through the entire thing, but I am anticipating being able to use this up at the end of the year, so I will keep my fingers crossed for that. But we went ahead and my new weight is 50.87. I did use it 24 times. I did my makeup 24 times in June, so that's kind of my number that I'm hitting for if I've used these products every time I did makeup but I used it 24 times and I used 0 0.29 grams, which is a little bit less than what I've been using in the past. And so I don't know if I'm just using less of this, if it's drying out a little bit, so it's losing some weight or losing some moisture, but overall I am excited to continuously get good progress on this and expand that pan at the bottom. Next we have my foundation and I am using the NARS Soft Matte Complete uh, foundation and this is my new mark right here and so we can see that I've been making really steady progress. I did mention in the last update that we're probably going to slow down with the um, with the measurement in between marks and that's basically because I'm at the biggest part of the bottle now but I did use this 24 times. Our weight was 55.08 so I did use up 5.65 grams which is less than I've been using up in the past and I think that that's because I've been mixing this with some other foundations to kind of give it a little bit more of a sheer coverage even though this is very full coverage and I love full coverage I've been adding a little bit of moisture back in by adding a pump of like a BB cream or something like that but definitely I'm making really good progress on this and again I was hoping to be able to be done with this by like October but I, I don't know if this will carry us through the end of the year, but I am just happy to be making really steady progress on it. Next is the product with extremely shiny packaging, but that is my Tarte highlighter palette, and this is what we're looking like right now. So my main focus are these two shades down here, which they have my repressed Fenty highlighter in there, and I hope that we can see kind of with some comparisons that I have popping up that I've been able to expand the pans on these two shades down here. I kind of have, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll be good to myself. I think, no, no, I think I have total confidence in myself that I will be able to use up these two pans of highlighter by the end of the year. 
but what I ended up doing is I used this product 22 times and we are currently at 119.06 grams and so I did use up 0.62 grams of this product. So again, really steady progress. I did just roll um, the Becca highlighter into my deck of panning for a usage goal. So I'm kind of going to start rotating through those until I can roll that other product out. So maybe in the upcoming months, I'll have a little bit less um, usage on this, but overall, I think I'm making really steady progress. Next on my list is my lip liner. And you'll really be able to tell the difference when I put my uh, panning journal graphics up. But I, again, am making extremely steady progress on this. Here is my line where I will know that it's empty. And I, I, I mentioned this before, but I feel like I'm having to sharpen this one a lot more than my last ColourPop liner. And I don't know if that if this is because this one's older. It, I don't know if it's more creamy. I really don't know what the difference is, but I feel like I'm having to sharpen this a lot more. So of course that's gonna be get it, getting us more progress on it. But um, I weighed it in at 5.96 grams. So I was able to use 0 0.47 grams. And that's kind of been steady with using just under a half a gram per month. That's been steady progress for this. I did use this every single time that I did my makeup, so I used this 24 times this month. Next we have my Franken bronzer, and I definitely have a lot of pan on this right now. And this has been a lot of fun to use, and I'm super excited about getting more progress on this. I think I am going to repress this sometime in July, so our update next month will look different, but that's just because I'm going to repress it. I'm really kind of circling on the outside, and I want to bring that product back in. But I did use this 24 times, so every time I did my makeup, I'm only weighing the pan, and so we are sitting at... 18.43 grams for this product so I did use up 1.61 grams which that's kind of on par with what I was able to use up last month and so definitely I am making really steady progress on this Franken bronzer. I just posted my mid-year inventory a couple days ago and in that I did not include this brow product or I kind of like said I'm going to be done with this by the end of June so I'm not counting it well there is like the littlest little nub <laughs> left on there. So I anticipate this being done within about a week. And so this one will be rolling out. I don't think, I'm not rolling anything in for this yet. I kind of want to see where some of my projects sit next month before I commit to rolling another product in for this. But overall, I was able to use up 0.07. And it's insane because again, I did my makeup 24 times. So it's insane to me that, you know, I'll have my graphic up that with that much progress, you're only getting 0 0.07 grams. And I think that really goes to show that the little product that you get in brow pencils, sometimes it can go a long way. I know with like the micro brow pencils from like Benefit or ABH, like I can go through one of those in two and a half months. And it's just because there's so little product product in them and I do have a lot of brows to kind of fill in. So I am enjoying this but I will be super happy when it's gone and again I anticipate it being gone within a, about a week into July. Since I finished up the Tarte Party Blush last month I did roll in another blush and this is my Benefit Dallas Blush. Of course it is repressed into a different pan. I have it in one of my Makeup Geek compacts but my goal was to use this blush at least 10 times and I end up falling short by one use. I did use it today and I'm filming on July 1st so I'll, I'll kind of like put myself in the wind column. I'll try to use this this blush 11 times in July to make up for it but I was able to use this nine times. I am again I'm only weighing the pan and so we were at 7.65 grams weighing in and so I used 0.26, so a quarter of a gram. I feel like that's really good progress. And let me roll down to, that's about the amount of usage that I was getting on the Tarte blush too. I was getting about a quarter of a gram 
um, use on that. So there's a whole lot more product in here than what was in the Tarte blush. And so again, I just want to see how much progress I can get on this through the end of the year. If I get bored with it in the fall, I might roll it out. But really, I just want to focus on this because this is my oldest blush in my collection. Then we had the primer that I rolled in when I finished up the Power Grip, which that is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer. So this was completely brand new. I think I had used it once before actually rolling it into the project. And so I did mark that we were at the top of the bottle. And as you guys can see, we are now down here. This, uh, that jump was only with 14 uses. So with this, I feel like it's gonna go really quickly. And I understand that this is only like a $5 product, but I think sometimes we forget with higher end products that you have to calculate like price per use, like how many of these would you need to purchase to get the same amount of uses that you would get with like the Glow Recipe one, which this is the one that's kind of duping it. So that's kind of just my thoughts on that. But looking at this progress, because this was only a half a month, I have a feeling we're gonna be down here and then finished up in August. So we'll keep working on this. I do have to use quite a few pumps of this. Uh, I'm trying to be more conscious about, for some reason, whenever I bronze down my neck, my neck gets, it looks really dry and textured right there in the middle. And so I've been taking a pump of this and putting it on the center of my neck. And then it takes a, about another three pumps to be able to coat the rest of my face. So the pump on this doesn't dispense a whole lot of product, um, which again is good. You get to control how much you're getting, but I'm having to use four pumps of this every time that I use it. Overall, I have been enjoying it. It hasn't broken me out. I, I don't feel like it's anything special. I kind of feel like Maybe it's making me a little bit more oily, but we have been in the um, like 100 degree. <laughs> We've been under a heat advisory for about a week here. Um, I think when I got in the car yesterday, the thermostat read 103 and it didn't dip below 100 the entire time I was driving home from work. So it's been hot. <laughs> so I understand that my makeup is melting off, but I feel like I want to go back to a more gripping primer after this because I don't feel like these hydrating primers are necessarily what I need in the summertime, especially. I did not give you all the weights on that. So like I said, I used it 14 times. So we're at 73.41 and I used up 8.82 grams of the product. So like I said, I'll keep using this daily and see how we can do about getting that used up. So we are on to the two items that I am rolling in. So because I used up the ColourPop lipstick halfway through the month, I did weigh this product and kind of took a picture of it and like measured it in my panning journal at, in the middle of June. And so we'll have some other pictures that I'm able to pop up for this one, but I'm rolling in my next oldest lipstick. So this is from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Infamous. And of course, this I got this um, on clearance back when Marc Jacobs was going out of business or kind of like closing down to regroup, which I'm still waiting for them to come back. I know they announced it, so I'm just waiting to see whenever their first launches start coming out. But I did want to go ahead and start panning and using up this lipstick. It is what I have on my lips today. And so at, in the middle of June, I weighed this in at 41.18 and I weighed it at the end of June at 41.08, so I did use 0 0.1 grams of this product. Um, I did move it down a little bit, but of course I was only using this for about half the month, and so this is going to be my next focus shade, and I am super excited about getting another lipstick rolled out of my collection, maybe by the end of the year. I don't think I'll be able to, because this was practically brand new, so this is like a brand new lipstick. I don't think that I can pan a brand new lipstick in six months, but let's see if we can get some really great progress on this over the next six months. And the last item that I want to roll in, um, I'm kind of replacing the Bobbi Brown with another concealer. And so this is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. And I have been using this prior to rolling it into this product. So we do have some windowing 
you guys might be able to see here or I'll pop up my b-roll you might be able to see that I have some windowing on there um, this is a little bit light for me especially I don't want to say in the summer because I don't really tan a whole lot um, but of course I will get slightly darker in the summer but this is kind of light so I have been mixing it with another concealer but my goal is to use this up um, I do want to try some more high-end concealers, but I don't want this sitting in my collection for like another year because I'm focused on something that's high-end, so I want to use this up first. So we are starting with 32.20 grams for this product, and we will see how much use I can get on it over the next couple months. So that is my update for my Rolling 10 Pan. I just wanted to count because I was curious. I have been able to completely finish 11 products in this project so far this year. So in the first six months of this project, I used up the number seven powder, the Belief Beauty Foundation, the Becca Champagne Pop Mini Highlight, uh, one of the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primers, the Lip Liner in Little One from ColourPop. I used up one of my um, mixed powders, the Halo Glow and Too Faced Peach Perfect mix powder that I make. Um, I used up the Becca Sunlit Bronzer, and then I used up, of course, the four from today, which is the Tarte Party Blush, the Power Grip Primer, the uh, ColourPop Lipstick, and then also the Bobbi Brown Corrector. So it is super exciting to have used up 11 products and with the anticipation of having some rollouts next month. I am loving this project. I am loving getting through my, my products and really focusing in on them. I don't feel like I'm neglecting other things in my collection because I know that I will get to them and I will get to them soon because I am focusing on rolling out these older products. And so that is why I'm doing this project. But let me go ahead and we're gonna roll into the uh, Pan That Palette uh, portion of this video. So let me go ahead and pull out my palette. And if you guys have watched my other videos, you guys know that I am panning the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight. And so I am using it, I roll in a quad that I put in my Makeup Geek um, compact here. And so this will look a little bit different because I did hit some pans and so I rolled some new shades into my quad but this is what we're looking like right now. So I use this shade up here every single day to sh set my lid, and I'm to the point where I'm going to need to repress that. So that is going to look a little bit different next month because I'm having to like shove my brush into the corners to set my lids so that I need to repress it. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a repressing time and I've done some repressing videos before, but if you guys would want me to do like a short on how I am going to repress these products, let me know down below and I'll film those and I'll, I'll post those up for you guys. But I am going to repress that one. Um, this shade here, I already had pan on, but I rolled this back into this quad because I rolled in a new shimmer shade. So this is a brand new shimmer shade from the palette that I am starting to work on. And then I do have like my inner corner highlight. It has a very nice dip on it. Um, I don't think I'm anywhere near hitting pan. It'll be another couple months as long as I can focus on that for some inner corner work. But overall, that is what the quad is looking like. And then let's see the palette. I'm pretty sure it was candid that was in my palette before that I ended up hitting pan on. I ended up using that shade two more times to hit pan on it, and it was a shock when I hit pan on it because I was not anticipating being anywhere close. And so I have pan on every shade in here except for these two maroons. These two um, at the bottom, which is the B Blunt and TMI, I'm going to roll those in closer into the fall and so I am going to work on some more of these like bronzy shades and really like I said I still have two more shimmers that I'm trying to hit pan on in this quad so I'm satisfied with where I'm at again I'm not going to be able to completely finish all the shades in this palette my goal is to just try to hit pan on everything and so I feel like I am making really good progress since I only have one, two, three, four, four shades left that don't have pan, making really good progress. So I'm super excited about that. 
Um, I don't know if once I hit pin and everything that I'll keep it in or if I'll roll it out. Um, I'm also doing a no pan left behind for my complete eyeshadow collection, which I'll link that up in the eye. I'm going to be updating that every two months. And so the next update for that one will come in August. But overall, I'm super excited. I know I have my hairline powder, which I forgot to grab. Let me grab that and I'll show you guys how I'm doing on that as well. So last month, you guys have seen that I hit pan on my hairline powder and I have just been expanding that pan. I did dye my hair about a week and a half ago and so I haven't been using this as much because again, I had dyed my roots, but I know as soon as my hair starts growing out again, I am gonna be using more of my hairline powder. And if you are new here, which welcome, but I had mixed this shade down here with another shade from a Too Faced palette, and that is how I came up with this hairline powder. And I just use that, of course, along here when my roots start showing, and I will use it along my part when my roots start showing. So I am just making really good steady progress on this as well. So that is my complete update number six for June for my rolling 10 pan, basically my major project pan for 2023. I hope that you guys are super excited about the rollouts. I am. I'm excited also to be able to see that I've used up 11 products in the first six months of the year. That's really helping me kind of achieve my goal of using up at least 23 products, which the next video that I'm going to film and post is going to be my update, my quarter two update for the 23 and 2023. So make sure to stick around for that one. It should be coming up in the next couple days. But overall, I am so excited about this project. I love seeing my products get used. I love seeing that I'm not wasting stuff. And I hope that you guys saw in my inventory video that I have been really able to get my collection down to a good size that things are getting used up. And so that is where I want to be. That's the mentality that I want to have with my collection. And so I hope it inspires some of you guys to also think about your consumerism and your collections and do what works best for you. But overall, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to do all the things. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you know whenever I upload. Let me know in the comments down below how your project pans are doing. Have you panned any of these items? Kind of give me your tips and tricks. If you guys have any like video ideas that you would like for me to film, drop them down below too. I've already done a couple videos for from uh, viewer requests. So I really do appreciate you guys. We have such great conversations in the comment section. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and a safe 4th of July, even though you guys will be seeing this the day after. But I hope you have a safe 4th of July and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.